I wonder what Mallcraze would look like if I implemented video settings. Oh no. FPS, frame rate, frames per second. We all love them, we all want more. I remember back in the days when I was playing games on my old Pentium 2 machine. And at the time, games were just games and nothing else mattered. As I got older, I learned about this cool thing, frames per second. What are they? Where do they come from? And how exactly do I download more frames? Everything changed when I got my first laptop when I was around 15. Finally, I discovered this 60 frames per second thing and I never looked back. From that day, my life had a new goal. Spread the message of playing games with smooth 60 frames per second. Okay, jokes aside, what I really wanted to tell with all of this is that optimization plays an important role, one that cannot be overlooked. I would say there are three basic ways to make a game run smoother. The first one, you can optimize the game itself. The second one, you can turn down the graphics. And the third one, you can buy yourself a new hardware. But this is year 2021 and buying a new hardware is unfortunately not an option for most of us. And today I don't want to talk about the game optimization. What I would like to discuss today is the topic of graphical settings. You can look at Molkrace and think that this game is not particularly demanding, and you would be somewhat right. In this state, when there is not much going on, it runs pretty well even on an almost decade old system. But things start to change when you build something like this. If I want to test the performance of the game in the future, I should be able to change the settings at that point. That's why I decided to tackle it now. So, how do I do that? Thankfully, people that made Unreal Engine really thought about this and basically almost every graphical settings that I need can be easily accessed through the engine. All I have to really do is create the necessary user interface that will allow people to easily change the settings. So this is what I had the next day. I found out that when I turn every single setting down and even turn the resolution scale down, you can imagine how Molkrace would look like if it was created 30 years ago. Aside from this cool effect, the basic setting seems to be working. As you already know, by this point, Molkrace isn't really a game with cutting-edge realistic graphics, so there isn't really that much for me to change render-wise, but even these few options can mean a difference between 40 or 60 FPS. Only time will tell how much will they really matter, as most things in the game will most likely be limited by your CPU rather than GPU. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is all for today, but don't worry, I have a really big video planned for next week. One where the gamer really experience a big jump in the overall looks, because we will talk about the shop customization. Finally. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe, leave a like or comment down below. Thank you everyone for your support and I will see you next week. Take care.